Casey back with another video and today's video is going to be another declutter. I'm banging them out here for you guys and this is going to be my face powders. I have a massive amount of face powders like this is not all of them. I still have several behind me in the drawer and I'll replenish them on this table once I get rid of these but I have get just guess put put it down below put a number down below pause this video. Let me know how many you think I have 65. 65 is our number of face powders. That is under eye setting powders, that's loose powders, that's all over face powders, that's that's all of it. 65. So we're going to declutter this, get this down to hopefully a workable number. If I can get down into the 40s or 30s, I think that would be like that would be a dream if I could get down to the 30s and it all fits in one drawer. This does not even all fit in one drawer. It's too much. So, we're going to get rid of a lot of these today. I'm going to try to at least if y'all haven't seen my other declutters, I'm going to put some of them up on the screen. I'm going to also put the whole playlist down below. Go ahead and check those out. I really try to be really cutthroat in my declutters and make sure that I'm getting rid of the products that I'm not using. So check those out. Subscribe to my channel. Y'all know the drill. Like this video. And let me know some of your favorite face powders down below. Now, it just started thundering and raining outside, but I'm not stopping. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna plug through this, okay? So if y'all hear something, that's what it is, but let's just go ahead and try to get this done. All right, y'all. 65. Let's get started. Let's do a giveaway. Let's start on a high note. Giveaway, this LA Colors Mineral Press Powder. Just never use it, probably never will use it, so let's get rid of it. All right, let's also talk about this e.l.f. finishing powder. This is, what is this? This is a face powder, actually. Ooh, it's really velvety smooth, though. Let's keep that for a little bit. I love this Black Opal Ultra Matte Foundation Powder. I use this a lot. I love this, so I'm going to keep that. I'm also going to just go ahead and give you some keepers here. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Powder. Just got this. I love it, so I'm keeping it. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep. This is also a keeper along with my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder. So I'm keeping that also. Another keeper is this Urban Decay All Nighter. Totally keeping that as well. Just got that and I love it. And my Peach Blur by Too Faced. Keeping that also. This L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, it's so old and it's almost gone anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and let this go. I will probably be repurchasing this in the near future, but for right now, I'm just going to let this one go. I'm definitely keeping this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. I really, really love this one. Woo, this is going to get hard. All right, Catrice All Matte Plus Shine Control Powder. Never used it, probably never will, so I'm going to let it go. I'm also going to let go of this Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder. I just never use it. It's a banana shade. I have so many bananas, so we can get rid of that also. I have two of these Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powders, one in light medium, one in medium deep. I'm going to keep the medium deep for an all-over face powder, but I'm going to get rid of the light medium because I didn't really like how it looked underneath the eyes. I'm going to keep this Ulta Pressed Setting Powder. I use the hell out of this thing, so I'm going to keep that. And I'm also going to keep this Wonder 2 Perfect Selfie Powder. This stuff is super, super ultra mattifying. I love it, so I'm keeping it. NYX Set It Don't Fret It. I love this. Keeping this. I'm going to let go of this LA Girl Powder. This is in the shade Caramel. I just never use it, never reach for it. And that's how it looks, so we're going to let that go. And... I'm also going to let go of this Black Radiance powder. I really like this powder, but I just don't use it. I just never, ever use it. So have I even opened it? Oh, yeah, I have. I've used this a few times, but I just don't use it that much. So I'm going to let that go. Black Up Matte Definition Powder. Really love this one. So this is a keeper, if I can get it open. This one is a keeper. It really does keep me matte. Also, my two ColourPop Loose Setting Powders. I've done reviews on these with the foundation and everything. I love these setting powders, so these are also keepers. This Kat Von D Translucent Powder, it's pretty old. I barely use it anymore, so I'm going to just go ahead and pitch that. And this Sephora Bright Set Powder, it's like a bright yellow powder. I've never used it, and I don't think I will. I don't foresee that in the future, so I'm going to let that go also. Oh, along with this Makeup Revolution loose powder, I'm just going to get rid of that too. Whew. 
okay mac studio fix powder this is definitely a keeper i really love this powder for setting my makeup and i'm also going to keep this um what is this the makeup forever no i'm not this was the peach color corrector one i'm not keeping this one but i have a yellow one and i have no idea where it is right now so i guess i have 66 powders but i don't know where the yellow one is right now so i'm getting rid of this one but i'm i'm gonna keep the yellow one when i find it Laura Mercier, this is the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Did not like how this powder felt on my skin, so, oh gosh. You know what, I'm gonna keep it for just a little bit longer, see if I like it. If not, if I don't use it within the next two months, I'm gonna let it go. Okay, so this is the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder, but I got it in the shade Deep. This is too dark for me, so unfortunately, I gotta get rid of this one, but this is such a good setting powder. All right, so I filtered the other ones in here. So let's let's start going through them. I've been really loving this collab powder. This is like drugstore pricing at Sally Beauty. Been really loving this, so I'm gonna keep this collab powder. I'm also gonna keep this Marc Jacobs. This is the Finish Line Invisible Powder. I'm gonna keep this Hourglass Powder. These are like brand new to me. So both of those are staying along with my Too Faced Ethereal Born This Way Powder and my Too Faced Peach Perfect powder all of those are staying with me gosh this is starting to get hard keeping my Laura Mercier translucent because I love it this ColourPop no filter sheer press powder I like it I don't love it I'm gonna let this one go all right so definitely keeping my Lancome translucent powder I'm also keeping my makeup forever super matte loose powder love these and I'm keeping the black opal deluxe finishing powder as well you guys this isn't going as well as I wanted it to go this one I can totally get rid of because I've only used it like once and I didn't love it it's the Becca soft light blurring powder I'm gonna let that go but I am gonna keep this cinema secrets um what is this ultra lucent setting powder and soft custard the Mac Patrick Star Powder I love and I'm keeping. This Sasha Buttercup. <sighs> I feel like the only reason I keep this powder is in case I do someone's makeup. That's a different shade than me. Ugh, and I don't have anything this deep. So I'm going to keep it, but not for me, for when I do other people's makeup. RCMA no color powder I'm going to keep but I am going to get rid of my Ben Nye banana powder. I have so many banana powders and if I want it again I can always repurchase it so I'm going to let that go and I'm also going to let go of my LA Girl Pro powder because I just never use it. Let's see letting go of this Maybelline Fit Me powder in toffee. I don't need that so I'm going to get rid of that. But I am keeping this MAC uh, Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. It's the loose powder in medium deep. I'm keeping this Urban Decay Naked Skin in medium dark. I'm keeping my Wowder from Glossier because I really like that. And I'm also keeping this loose Naked Skin Powder as well. All right, we're down to the last few. Um, I have these two cover FX. One is the perfect setting powder. One is the matte setting powder. I'm keeping them both because I love them both. This um, Soap and Glory kick-ass powder. I never use this, so I'm going to let that go. What else do we have here? This Milani powder in medium. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'll keep it for now. I'll keep it for now. And then these two CoverGirl powders. This is their new True Blend powder, which I really love. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day powder, which I really love. It keeps me super matte, but I feel like they're close to the same. So I'm going to keep this True Blend powder and get rid of the Outlast. Okay, I want to keep my two Beauty Bakery powders here. Um, this Wet n Wild powder. I just feel like I don't use it very often, so I'm gonna let that go. I'm also gonna let go of this Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. Not using it. Um, Urban Decay, the Velvetizer. I actually really like this, so I'm keeping that. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Just never use it. Oh, doesn't look like I've ever used it or ever even touched it, so I'm getting rid of that. This is the Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Powder Foundation. I never use this, so I'm gonna let this go. 
Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Radiant Light. I really like this, so I want to keep it. And then this Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. Um, I've never used it. It's like a Korean brand. I got it from Amazon, and I've never used it. So I'm going to keep it just for a little while longer and test it out. All right, so you guys, here is what we are getting rid of. We started off with 66 powders, and this is what we're letting go. I have Becca, Essence, Maybelline, uh, Makeup Forever, Cover FX, more Becca, Makeup Revolution, L'Oreal, Black Radiance, more Maybelline, um, another Black Radiance, ColourPop, CoverGirl, LA Girl, Sephora, Ben Nye, Kat Von D, LA Girl, Wet n Wild, Catrice, LA Colors, um, Soap and Glory and Derma Blend. So out of the 66 powders that I have, I'm getting rid of 23 powders. 23 powders. So 66 minus 23 is 43 powders that I'm keeping. I said I wanted to get down into the 40s. I wish it could have been the 30s. Maybe I'll look at it again and see if I can declutter some more. But I'm happy with this. I got rid of like one third of the collection, which I think is still pretty, pretty good. So that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. Let me know your favorite setting powders down below. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.